This is a moment of zen to calm everybody down. Take a deep breath. Take a deep breath. And let it out. Happy Mother's Day, everybody. Well, hi, everybody. I was trying to figure out how to make a video and show off my beautiful Mother's Day flowers. My kids really came through. I woke up yesterday morning with more than 50 roses at my front door. So, I'm so proud of my children anyway. They're all so wonderful. Um, I've had people asking me, and it's funny because even I was thinking about it even before they started asking me about three days before that with all this talk about Iran and Bolton and all this kind of stuff. I know when Donald Trump first got elected, I think it was about a week later, I was over at my nephew's house. It's probably for Thanksgiving since it was in November, probably. I don't remember, but I sit on the table and he knows how interested I've always been in politics. And he asked me, he said, what do you think about this person getting in the White House? And I told him, I said, you know, I'm absolutely terrified. And he said, why? And I said, because everything, as soon as everything goes tits up, and it's going to happen if he, you know, guy's an idiot. As soon as everything starts going totally tits up, the first thing he's going to do is start a war. And I said, it, it's, I'm scared to death for my children and grandchildren and great-grandchildren. And he said, do you think he'd do that? And I says, oh, yeah, I think he'd do that in a heartbeat. Anything to get him out of the oven and somebody else in there. Um, so anyway, he kind of, he didn't disagree with me, but I know he thought I was overreacting. And then when he kept moving everybody around and ended up with bomb, bomb, I ran uh, Bolton in there. I thought, yep, here we go. He's setting that up. I hope we don't have to pull that lever, but he'll pull it if he has to. And then last week, I just heard a hint or something from when, like I said, I was cleaning up around here and listening to the shows. And I just heard a hint or something about a, a supposedly in the White House, he was nervous because he was a, this is, you know, the orangutan or whatever you want to call him that's in there, Trump was worried that Bolton might try to start a war, and so he was worried about it, Him, like Trump was worried about it. That's a bunch of bullshit. Everybody knows that the fish rots at the head, and that's the most rottenest fish in the world. And they also know, even people that aren't even in on politics have known that John Bolton's been talking about bombing Iran for the last four or five years, maybe longer. So he put him in there as for a reason, is the fell safe to pull if he had to. And of course, they're just like all the other wars that we've gotten into. They're already drumming up a bunch of stuff supposedly going on that I'm sure isn't going on. Plus he already, you know, took us out of that nuclear treaty with him, which was totally ignorant. But anyway, everybody's been asking about that. So I'm, I'm gonna do a quick reading on that. I have some private readings to do tonight, so I'm gonna this won't be very long. It won't, it won't. And my talking to ask the question. So, is Trump going to get us into a war with Iran? Or maybe not even Iran. I mean, it doesn't matter where they go. They might... I've just had a really sick feeling for the last 10 days that... Uh, That something was coming up we weren't going to like, and it had to do with with people like wives lost. Uh, anyway, let's see what the cards have to say about this. So, okay, cards, okay. Bring in Rennie, my spirit guide. Bless your heart, Rennie. I'm going to use you all night tonight. I want you to come in. We know he's capable. Maybe they'll stop him before he gets to do it, to do this. But, uh, so the first rule across we're going to do is he thinking about this. 
this already his options that he's throwing around with his insiders. Okay, is he thinking about this? He's looking it over. Definitely looking it over. Looking it over, looking into it. And if he does that, it will change the wheel of fortune. I'm not sure it's going to end up helping him in the long run, but he figures if he gets us in a war, then we'll be all relying on him, and which is absolutely terrifying. But it is thinking about... I think somewhere inside of him, he knows people don't trust him, and he's thinking about maybe that might force things sooner. I don't think he's a total idiot. But that's what's uh, blocking this, is... Uh, Anything that comes from this is going to be stolen. All the information, if this is where he goes with this, it's not going to be on reliable information. It's going to be on stolen information. And, of course, start money, because a lot of people make a lot of money when we go to war. A lot of people make a lot of money when we go to war. So he's already thinking about making deals with some of the multi, multi, multi billion dollar people in the world of who's going to get the contracts. Yeah, they've already looked into it. He knows it's going to change everything. That's scary. And uh, if we do get an award, it's going to be under false pretenses, but he's already talking with some people about how much... Uh, Money can be made out of it. Probably how much of it can be made into his pocket. If he decides to do this, there will be some people trying to block him. They're already talking about blocking him. They're already terrified about this. The people in the Pentagon and I guess uh, all the undercover places, the CIA and... FBI, they're already terrified he's going to do something like this. They're trying to figure out how they can block him from doing it. They're already talk they're already having talks about it. I keep getting this and I still keep thinking maybe it's not come to him personally yet, but behind the scenes they're making offers to try to figure out how to get him out of office. The Secret Service, the Pentagon, the people in the military, they're all trying to figure out what they're going to offer him to get him out of office. And he's taking his walking orders getting his walking orders from Putin. It's like a... not a platform, but it's like a... like outlining a chapter or something in a book. He's got the outline of this, what to do and what to do next, and he already has that from Putin himself. Yep. And he... Definitely does. Here's Putin. Mm. 
this is another one of these make you know look over here a squirrel over there look over here look over there um, He's even thinking personally, and the people behind this, if they can keep this, maybe they won't have to do this. But anyway, it's definitely on the table. Well, the world is hoping they'd make him an offer to go away. Here, this going away is right under the offer. Hmm. And the obstacle is we're not prepared to do this. We're not prepared to go to war right now. We got too much other stuff going on all over. And this might even end up being in... South America? I don't know. So we're not prepared for this. We don't we shouldn't be rushing in there doing anything. I'm not sure if that's Nancy or Every time I see this card, I think of Ivanka, and I think of her turning on him. But anyway, we'll come back and do a clarifier on that. Let's do another row here. Um, definitely some money being offered up for this. To buy all the weapons. To, people are already talking to him, already been in his ear about this. He's just worried how to hold on to his own money. This this whole line here is about getting him out of office. People working behind the scenes to get him out. And he's worried about if he went, how much money he'd have left, if any. This is the blockage to it here. He's thinks he might have to start a war to hang on to his money because if he goes out of office right now after he gets all these lawsuits against him, he already really doesn't have cash flow and he really wouldn't have any after that. But the people look pretty happy here, so maybe they're going to block that. Let's do one more row to see. I'm going to even go through these, shuffle what's left of this deck up a little bit here and so, before I even do one more wrong. Is he going to get away with this? Is he really going to try to start a war? And it doesn't matter if it's with Iran anywhere. Is he going to try to start a war anywhere to get out of this? Anything to keep hold of his money. Anything to keep hold of his money and what do you think he's got stashed? And and he'll try to start one if he, if he thinks that's the only way he can keep a hold of his money. Oh, maybe Mueller's testimony. I don't know what this is doing in here, but this is Mueller. He had not have anything to do with him starting a war. But maybe if Mueller goes to testify, it immediately take away a lot of Trump's, more of Trump's power. Take away some of his power. Well, let's see what the outcome is. Well... I feel like this is the house. They got a lot of work they need to do, and they need to do it quickly. They need to do it quickly. 
not just think about it and get it all together and do it. They need to push this stuff through quick or we might be in war all over the Mideast and the South America and God only knows what in the hell he could get us into. Not trying to scare everybody, but that that's the Senate maybe coming through. Definitely. Looks like somebody could be coming through here. Maybe that's Mueller coming through with the work of the Senate to put a stop to this. Because if nobody stops him, he will do this before he leaves office. Before they have to go in there and take him out by the skin of his teeth. I'm going to go back up here on this and see if that was Nancy Pelosi or the daughter. <laughs> we got the man with the gun. The gun to his head. I think that's Nancy Pelosi. I think this is a warning telling her she needs to shit or get off the pot. It's time to go through with this stuff. Excuse my French. And there's a lot of people that would get behind her and back her if she would go for this. I know it's, it's time to go now. It's, I know they're trying to make it more legal, but it's time to go now. They don't have to make it legal for impeachment with everything that's in that report. And now we're going to see, hopefully, if they complete their work in time to stop, to stop him from going to war. Somebody's in jail here. Yes, they need to get it together. They need to get it together. And they needed to do it. They need to do it quickly. Definitely a spy at work here. And here's the people celebrating in the streets. So hopefully they'll stop him. Looks like they're going to stop him before he gets a chance to do this. Let's just all hope and pray. I'm sure it'll all come out great. I sound <laughs> sound like gloom and doom. What do they call that? De Debbie Downer. My name's not Debbie and I'm not usually a downer. I just want to see. I can't wait for this people celebrating in the streets. It keeps coming out. But I would say from just looking at these, he's thinking about it. If he does, it'll change the destiny of the whole world. He's using false information to get us into this. A lot of big money people are glad he's trying to get us into this. The decision hasn't been made, totally made yet. They're talking behind the scenes about offers they'd like to give Trump to get him out of office. He's taken his directions from Putin that's the blueprint for this whole thing. His whole overthrowing of the American government, not just starting a war. He's still such a musician, he figures that if he keeps starting something new, some big thing for the news to talk about every day, except what's really going on. This is just, look here, look there, look there. Let's not pay any attention to what's really going on. Meanwhile, they're still trying to figure out how to get him out of office. And trying to keep him from rushing into something that could bring, destroy the world here. This is Nancy. She needs to listen to the people. She needs to listen to the people and quit thinking about politics. Get that gun away from her head and just say, let's go for it. Another offer being made. To him, 
him not wanting to take it because he's afraid he's going to lose his money. Well, and he knows this isn't much money that he's got to lose here. But if he gets kicked out ahead of time and has to do all those court cases, he's going to lose a lot of money. Looks like something's going to get done about this because the people are happy here. Still his main... This was if he's going to get away with it. He's going to try to. But then something changes this. Something really changes this. And this looks like Mueller. I don't know what he's doing in there. Maybe it's when he testifies. And he will testify in front of Congress. And it shows just how much, it definitely, when he testifies, it just makes an outline of all the work that the Democrats have to do if they haven't already done it and get this impeachment up and get it started. And if they do, Trump's going to end up in jail before it's over. And he knows that because he's, he knows he's been spying all the way through this. And the people are going to end up happy, so it looks like, no, he's not going to get away with starting a war. So that's what the cards are saying to me, and uh, I want to thank everybody for watching. And everybody wants a personal reading, you can call me at Lynn Tarrant Readings at gmail.com. That's Lynn Tarrant Readings at gmail.com if anybody wants a personal reading. And uh, I'll try to get back with, I've been asked a couple of other things to read on, so I'll try to get back tomorrow and do that, but uh, later tonight I have something to read on already. So, uh, so bye everybody, and uh, th thank you so much for the subscriptions, and uh, if you want to subscribe, push the button, and uh, if you like the video, hit the thumbs up, that always makes me feel good. If you got a comment, I absolutely love comments, so anyway, just get a hold of me and let me know what you want me to read on. Thank you.